To make a Peltier energy generator, you will need two heat sinks, a Peltier cell, and a voltage regulator with USB outputs. And yes, don't forget the thermal grease. Start by squeezing some thermal compound on the back side of the heatsink. Use something flat to spread it equally. Then take the Peltier cell and attach the cold side, that one with the right, onto the bigger heatsink. Repeat the process of the Thelma compound and prepare to attach a smaller heatsink on the hot side of the Peltier cell. I also used some heat resistant tubes to protect my wires from melting. It is really important to firmly fix the pieces so they do not move. And I used a couple 30mm M3 bolts to set everything in place. So let's make a quick test to see if the concept could work by simply hitting the small heatsink with the lighter. As you can see, the voltage output is going up quickly, but not enough to charge a phone. We have to consider that the more is the temperature gap, the more is the current produced. So let's try with something hotter. Let's prepare the brazier to fit the generator with wood or other types of solid fuel. I used a low profile stainless steel can and I carved the shape of the top heat sink to fit in it. After that, I soldered the positive and negative wires to the voltage regulator. Ok, now that we are done with the hardest part, we need to find a way to cool the big sink as well as possible. I thought that using a container full of water was a great idea to remove the heat, because water is much more effective than air. Pour the water so that it reaches the level without wetting the Peltier cell. And once you have done, you can try to start a fire on the top container using some paper, some cardboard and even some wood.
as first thing I try to check if the cell produces any voltage output but soon I realized that the wires were made wrong so I take off the red wire and I attached the tester directly to it we can see that the voltage rose up at first slowly but I wasn't able to go beyond 3.7 volts maybe it's because the fire doesn't get enough air from the bottom so I tried to make some ventilation holes let's see if this improvement really matter Also in this case I wasn't able to go beyond 3.5 volts. In conclusion, the prototype produces current, but not enough to be able to charge a smartphone. If you have any suggestion to improve it, please write me on the comments and subscribe the channel to follow the next videos. Thanks for watching guys!